Hey, hey, this is Michelle from Michelle Word to Art and Soul Pour Studio. And I wanted to show you this piece, um, the Pour It All Out piece that was the first video on my channel here. It, as it is drying, we're gonna lift it, reveal, reveal, reveal. Oh, dar she is, dar she blows. You can tell how the um, colors are deepening. Permanent Violet Dark is getting a gorgeous, deeper color. This one, I gotta say, is gonna just be popping, seriously, when it gets uh, resined. With all of that gold and the details there. Hold on to your phone, Michelle, so it doesn't drop into the pour. <laughs> Can't tell you how many times I've done that. <laughs> all right, so I've got some of the similar colors left over and we'll get to the next pour okay here we are with this repurposed uh doing the flow wave <laughs> um repurposed 15 by 30 canvas and these are the these great aluminum this is a 20 ounce cup that i'm using it's an aluminum uh, recyclable cup from the Bell company you know that does the jars um, this is the flow extender actually so those are the scraped bits from the uh, last pour that I showed you in the beginning the one that pour it all out that's drying um, made a gorgeous kind of pinkish periwinkly lovely velvety purple so um, using that in this pour and uh, here I'm just kind of going through my colors trying to since they were sitting overnight and I didn't cover them totally well <laughs> um, so I wanted to check the consistencies here and to see um, if everything is matchy matchy consistency wise looks like some of the purples and pinks are okay a little bit here and there just to get everything um, cohesive and good together and it's a lot of mixing in fluid art <laughs> it's a good uh I, I i think of it as like my meditation time um when you're actually making up your colors yeah you can really use that time to just uh be in flow and mix and meditate all at the same time um yeah so lots of mixing this Montmartre color is kind of giving me a little bit of a uh, I have to add a lot of water to it um, you know it's an interesting thing in fluid art like in any sort of art your products really make a big big difference um, in what you're doing um, how things turn out um, and so <laughs> I some mediums you know not all mediums are created equally so that one actually dried out a lot faster um, and now I'm just adding some distilled water to my water thing I, I do tend to use just distilled water because you never know what's going to be in you know the difficult different chemical properties that are in the tap water and kind of like the difference of how you know the the baguettes are the best in paris i think it's because of the water that they use um and of, of course all those you know to rich traditions but uh water can make a really good difference a really big difference either positively or negatively uh, depending on what you've got going on in your water system so i tend to use just distilled water in fluid art all right i think i got the pink nope not yet <laughs> a little more mixy 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 could probably fast forward this bit for you i think i will i think i'm actually almost ready all right just double checking we're just going to keep going here yep mixing mixing i need a little bit of that background music like you know the elevator music <laughs> Okay, um, I think I add some more water to that flow extender because it was really thick. So it's it's a really good goal in fluid art, it, depending on the technique that you're doing, to have all of your consistencies the same. Um, and it's there's no perfection needed here. You know, sometimes just because of 
a different if you're using a tube paint or a paint that has a lot more better higher quality pigment in it um, you know they're not going to be all perfectly matched so you just do your best uh, and also of course considering the technique that you're doing uh, this one ended up being a traveling straight pour uh, so I still wanted to have you know I wanted things to be on the thicker side um, yeah okay let's see are we done mixing are we done mixing sorry <laughs> okay rubbing the hands together I think that's the yeah here we go <laughs> okay so I will speed up this part um, the colors if you haven't watched the other video let me just go through those actually so that was Payne's gray mixed with a little bit of royal blue both Liquitex that's my the flow extender that had that gorgeous uh, purple color from the scrapes of other paintings there's some 24 karat gold uh, deco art that is artist loft uh, I think I called it pearl aqua but it's actually metallic aqua um, that is a uh, Amsterdam uh, interference blue that's got a little satin enamels in it white satin enamels there we go some more Payne's gray that is dragon flash by deco art and the other pinker colors that you see there because I think I, I used a lot more of the blues and golds in this one uh, that's permanent violet dark that is a prism pour magenta very sparkly um, there's the permanent violet dark by golden um, and those other two pinks is the Montmartre magenta and then the more purpley one is violet from artist love all right so let's get uh, the rest of this cup filled and get things poured on out. up of this really fun <laughs> oh so trippy <laughs> wandering straight pour here get some close-up details of it this to me in fluid art is just as much amazing fun art uh, as the end you know product can be uh, it's just oh oh risky I'm really being risky here, popping with my nail instead of the gun, <laughs> my uh, pocket dragon little torch. Okay, so now we're going to get into the next one. I'm trying to show you the cup, but yeah, a little hard to see. It's so beautiful inside. I love to see what's in the cup too. It's kind of like a ombre, gorgeous layering little <laughs> yumminess all right so getting the flow extender out and I'm actually going to speed this up here now you're going to watch that I as I'm uh, stretching this piece out just so you can know what as you're watching uh, there are some pieces, parts of this that I really, really am uh, loving, and loving and really wanted to try to keep, which is the, a lot of that, uh, the pinks and the golds that were in the sides there that kind of look like flames, um, as well as some of the fingerlings. Uh, but you'll see what happens. So let's just uh, roll with it and you can watch.
All right, wanted to get a close up here as well of this one. This is the second floor. Mm, gosh, it just had some really, really fun. Look at the ribbons there. So I wanted to capture it again because I, I, like I said, I just love this part just as much. Hey, hey, all right, so here is this one done. I think I finally settled on the composition, as you probably saw in the video. I was kind of going back and forth with this left side, wondering how much I really wanted to leave on there because I love these little fingerlings over here, but they got a little lost. And I, I aim in fluid art to not have too much uh, distortion uh so to so it doesn't look like it's you know been tilted too much like sometimes it's impossible um but it is um, something to aim towards to try to create less like falling off the canvas look um which did happen over here with these fingerlings but um it's okay because i wanted to salvage this little bit of gold and that dragon flash green um so that was the compromise and oh my gosh this was fun 
excuse my feet going on the sticky floor. <laughs> uh, I wish you could see, well, you probably can kind of, um, the bling and the gold there. There's a lot of beautiful gold that did get mixed in a bit with the greens and blues here. And look at this fun little corner. It's like a geode. Whoops, sorry, too close. <laughs> yeah, this combination of these blues and aquas with the pinks and um, permanent violet. This piece, as I was pouring it out, I was thinking a lot about luck and um, success, prosperity. Um, so I'm going to get, actually, this one feels like it wants to be named Royal Flush. <laughs> Because it has, um, it has a lot of just, to me, it feels like it's got a lot of uh, richness and royalty. Like it almost makes me think of those gorgeous, like the Indian um, saris that women wear that have those fantastic like blues and purples and aquas and pinks that are very opulent. So it has this opulence to me. But then there's this, it looks a little bit darker in the video. So it's a really gorgeous, like softer, it's, it's a teal aqua. It's got some, you know, really fun depth to it. You can definitely see where that Payne's Gray is laying underneath it. Um, but it just feels like, to me, like a calmness. It's a very calm color in the middle of all of this opulence. So <laughs> I love these little cells. Um, that have been popping up here and there not getting a lot of cells um, lately with these colors that i mixed up together um, because i believe it's i used more of the liquitex gloss medium than i usually do and less of the floatrol and that sometimes just affects things sorry again for my feet it just makes um floatrol can bring out a lot more uh, interesting cells so um, but you know what happens sometimes like maybe there's not as many cells but because I used more Liquitex gloss medium there's a lot of really good structure with the pigments um, and hey I am recording sorry I had to whip out my other phone uh, my other phone my other camera um, because my phone was full of videos and pictures and stuff so anyway <laughs> i wanted to just finish this off here um i don't know how this camera is going to actually be catching it but we're just going to go for it and see what happens uh anyway so yeah this is called royal flush it is a 15 by 30 repurposed canvas um as you saw there was two pores on this and uh i really love the opulence of this one and um yeah oops maybe i'm yelling at you if that thing is too close while i'm recording okay thanks so much for watching and pour yourself all into what makes you feel alive so much love to you see you in the next video okay ciao for now bye so i just wanted to capture these sides here <laughs> i love when the sides stay intact this is really cute over here you can even see some fingerlings <laughs> that got tilted off and then this is really fun these stripes here uh, little stuff. yeah it's fun when the when the flow kind of has some integrity to it also on the sides <laughs>